Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Samuel E. Molombe, and I'm a man of God. I welcome you on this platform in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hallelujah. If you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking. Thank you for checking out this video. I want to share something very amazing that the Lord laid in my heart. And if you're old, you always come back here to watch this video. You're part of the Iron Generation. Thank you. God says, someone important is watching you with interest. Can I take that again? The Lord says, someone very important is watching you with interest. Now, in this prophetic word, I'm going to show you specifics for you to know that God is speaking about you. And I'm going to tell you what you need to do right now. But before I dive into it, would you give me a minute? Let me just pray with you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your spirit. Thank you for today. And I thank you for my esteemed viewer. I know that you have a word. You have downloaded it in my spirit. But now it's time for delivery. Help me deliver it in a way that he will understand, that she will understand. And give them the grace to put the instructions into practice. So that this word will not just be another YouTube video, but it will bless them mightily. In Jesus' name. Amen. God says, someone very important is watching you. Since they become interested in your destiny. They have become very interested in your destiny. Now the Bible tells us that when Jesus Christ was actually born, there were shepherds that the scripture calls them wise men. Now we don't know how many of them were there. <laughs> of course, traditional church history says there were three. Um, but we don't know how many of them were there. They brought three gifts. So people suggest that they actually were three. But they were just doing their business. And all of a sudden, the star of Jesus appeared in the sky. And when they looked at the star, they saw that it was not a natural star. This is brighter than every other star that appeared that night. And they knew that this was a prophetic sign. Guess what? They began to follow that star. And it led them straight to Jesus. But now the Lord is saying that your star has risen. You have connected to prayers. You have connected to prophecy. You have connected to some series of declarations, heavy declarations, that have opened the heavens over your destiny, that have stirred up the potentials that God has deposited or invested in your spirit. Now, these men are interested in you. They are looking at you and for the first time, they are seeing the, the, the value, the gold, so to speak, that the Lord has entrusted you with. It's a very important part in your life because a new chapter has been opened for you. Now, I want you to listen very keenly to what I'm saying. Ah, I know clearly what the Lord showed me. I saw what I'm sharing with you clearly, as clear as the morning. There is someone who is from a distance watching you to see if what they perceive about you is true. Sometimes they might even engage you in a conversation to see if what they perceive of you is correct. The Lord says you should tread cautiously because the helpers to your destiny have been released already. But that they are still in an observation mode. Checking to see your values. Now the good thing about the people that the Lord sends into your life is that when they come, family listen to this, when they come, they do not come empty handed. We are told that the gifts that these wise men brought was what sustained Jesus throughout this, his stay with his mother and Joseph in Egypt. 
Remember when Herod sought to kill the child and the angel appears to Joseph and tells Joseph, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt until I tell you to come back. Now, Egypt was in their hometown. They didn't have a job there. They were, how, did they, how were they able to survive? It was through the gifts that the wise men brought. The Lord sends everybody on the earth with a potential. And when your potentials hit the right quarters, the necessary help you need for life will come. It will be so unfair of the Lord to send you into a, 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 a battleground like the earth without survival packs, without protein bags. <laughs> you know the survival packs that you buy. They are putting shakes inside. They are putting bags inside. Or they are putting, uh, putting um, 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 sticks inside, so to speak. That has ability to power you up for the whole day. Those protein bags are in your spirit. The Lord sent you on the earth with potentials for survival. And God is saying right now, the important people are watching. They are watching to see. The Lord is saying you have entered the best season of your life. So what do you do in this season? Number one, pray more than you rest. Nothing shapes a man's destiny like prayer. Prayer will attract and prayer will preserve. Can I take that again? Prayer will attract and prayer will preserve. Prayer will hasten your miracle and prayer will preserve your miracle. When Mary was pregnant with the boy Jesus, one of the things that Mary did was that she disconnected from the rest of the world and reconnected with Elizabeth, which was somehow her relative. And who was Elizabeth? The wife of a priest who was also carrying a child in the similitude of Jesus. The second thing you have got to do right now is you have to connect more with faith builders rather than faith destroyers. Assess your life and see the people who help you grow in your faith. You need to be with them more. You need to stay around them more. You need to listen more than you speak. I've seen a lot of people who rather teach than learn. There is a time when you ought to be a student. There's a time when you ought to be a teacher. Now, God wants to teach you how to keep these great people that he has sent into your destiny. Get into the learning mode. And last but not the least, plant seeds that will preserve the integrity of the season that God has brought you in. Sometimes the devil corrupt people, corrupts people's seasons by bringing them fakes and the fakes carry them away before the arrival of the real. That's very important what I've said. You can pause that video, take it back and listen to what I said again. This is because he doesn't want you to become what God has said you should be. He's going to fight. He's going to fight to destroy the integrity of your helpers or to destroy your integrity before them. No matter the way he wants to do it, the end is that he doesn't want you connected to these people. Sometimes you have to plant seeds of preservation. Seeds that will preserve your season until you harvest all that God has said for you. I'm excited in my heart because God doesn't say a thing that he cannot do. This word will come to pass. You will see people calling you, reaching out to you by Facebook, reaching out to you on email. Strange people of reputable character, of a high societal stand. You will remember this prophetic word that God has spoken to you through the mouth of his apostle. That great and important people are watching you. I pray for you right now that God will give you the grace to align yourself God will help you to maximize this season that you have gotten into. God will give you grace to become all that he has destined for you to be. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are blessed beyond curse. The hand of God comes on you.
In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, keep you, and cause his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord give you peace. Shalom.